Hello and welcome my news channel here Turkey. Good to be with you. Let's start. A coronavirus epidemic may have hit East Asia about 25 years ago. Analysis of DNA from more than 2000 people shows that genetic changes in response to that insisted epidemic accumulated over the next 20,000 years or so. David Ennert reported at the virtual annual meeting of the American Association of Physical Anthropologists. The discovery opens the way to exploring how genes linked to ancient viral epidemics may contribute to modern disease outbreaks such as COVID-19 pandemic. Ennert's group consulted a publicly available DNA database of 2,504 individuals from 26 ethnic populations on five continents. The team first focused on 420 proteins known to interact with coronaviruses, including 332 that interact with the virus that causes COVID-19. Substantially increased of production of all 420 proteins. A sign of past exposures to coronavirus-like epidemics appeared only in East Asians. These findings show that East Asians have been exposed to coronavirus-like epidemics for a long time and are more genetically adapted to epidemics of these viruses. In a paper published in Bioessays, the researchers focused on the deadly Australian from 2019 to 2020 bushfire season and COVID-19 lockdown and have collected evidence from around the globe, demonstrating the profound effects on heart health. Professor Jason Kovacic, executive director of the Victor Chan Cardiac Research Institute, says air pollutants are a major global health challenge, but their effects on the heart and blood vessels are particularly worrying. The poor air quality raised cardiovascular mortality by 4.5% and left the country with an economic health burden of $1.8 billion. In comparison, the global pandemic saw a 9% drop in carbon dioxide emissions in 2020 because of lockdowns, the reduction in air travel and closure of industry, public health campaigns encouraging people to wear face masks during the times of high air pollution could also be adopted. Researchers have developed a biodegradable battery. The number of data transmitting micro devices, for instance, in packaging and transport logistics, will increase sharply in the coming years. Researchers from EMPA have developed a biodegradable super mini capacitor that can solve the problem. It consists of carbon, cellulose, glycerin, and table salt, and it works reliably. To build a functioning supercapacitor from these ingredients, four layers are needed. All flowing out of the 3D printer one after the other, a flexible substrate, a conductive layer, the electrode, and finally the electrolyte. The number of electronic micro devices will also be increasing due to a much more widespread use of near patient laboratory diagnostics, which is currently booming. Lonely brains crave people like hungry brains crave food. After spending a day completely isolated from anyone else, people's brain perked up at the sight of social gatherings. Like a hungry person's brain seeing food, according to scientists in Nature Neuroscience. At the end of the day, certain nerve cells in the midbrain fired up in response to pictures of pizza and chocolate cake. These neurons produce dopamine, a chemical messenger associated with reward. The midbrain, which plays an important role in people's motivation to seek friend and food, responds to food and social signals, even when people aren't hungry or lonely. After all, a person always could eat or hang out. But hunger and loneliness increased the reaction and made people's responses specific to the thing they were missing. COVID-19 has left many more socially isolated, putting mental as well as physical health at stake and leaving people with cravings for more than food. 
that's the news for today thanks for watching have a great day see you soon